Hello and welcome to this edition of The Boston Show. I'm your host, Francesco Tartaglia. Last week in Boston, Boston-based food vendor Bon Me announced that they will be raising their minimum wage to $15 an hour by 2018. Since opening their first food truck in 2011, Bon Me has expanded to six total food trucks and five restaurants in Boston. They now employ over 100 people. We are proud of this choice because we want Bon Me to be a business that takes care of our people by helping them provide for themselves and for their families. The move comes as Mayor Walsh pushes to raise the citywide minimum wage to $15 an hour as well. We have to make sure that everyone in the city has an opportunity to earn, earn a living wage and more than that, and also learn and live and thrive in our city. Bon Me came into existence when the founders entered and won the city of Boston's food truck contest, offering bold, fresh, and fun Asian cuisine. Nonprofit organization First Literacy awarded 22 scholarships at their yearly awards night. 13 of the scholarships were given to adults who have completed literacy programs and are now going on to higher education. The other nine went to adults who have completed one year of college and are continuing scholars. This is a time to feel, feel proud of yourself, catch your breath, and really want to encourage you to, to persevere through the years because this, this is an opportunity you have now in your life that you really, you really want to seize. First Literacy's mission is to ensure that adults with low literacy or limited English proficiency have high quality educational opportunities that enable them to thrive as individuals. Your story is a compelling story. We all have a story. We all have a story of, of our people, if you will. Um, families that they came from different places with struggles they might have had. Uh, but this is your opportunity now to take your education to the next level. In the past 27 years, First Literacy has awarded over 450 scholarships. In an effort to provide access to bikes in all neighborhoods of Boston, Hubway is expanding their popular bike sharing program. The newest bike docking station was unveiled at the Roxbury YMCA on Martin Luther King Boulevard. We are delighted that we were able to support Roxbury and North Dorchester. We hope it is just the beginning of the work we do. And what we want to see is Hubway become the, one of the primary modes of transportation for the city of Boston. The city plans on opening 20 new bike sharing stations this year and has already opened a few in both Roxbury and Dorchester. Boston Public Schools welcome teachers back to a brand new school year with their annual breakfast. Superintendent Tommy Chang took the opportunity to go over what he expects from the school system. We want to provide high rigor, high expectations, high support that lead to high results for all, and all means all, all students. Even some Boston Public School students got a chance to speak to the administration. So I say to you on September 8th, look at those students and understand that in your school could hold the next president. In your school could hold a groundbreaking doctor. In your school could hold an innovative scientist, an accomplished writer, or historic activist. Take up this charge, accomplish this duty, and lead them to their potential so that they can achieve their purpose. Over a thousand people were in attendance at the Boston Convention and Exhibition Center, including local elected officials, community members, leadership from Boston Public Schools, teachers, principals, and staff. Mayor Walsh announced that applications are now available for Senior Save. Piloted last year, the proactive program helps income eligible seniors replace failing or inefficient heating systems before winter begins. Replacing older, less efficient systems now reduces the risk of having to handle heating emergencies during the winter. It's no secret to anyone here that Mayor Walsh has made housing and home ownership a number one priority of his administration. And part of that priority is making sure that our seniors, our seniors that live in our neighborhoods, can live in their homes. 
Eligible homeowners receive $3,500 as a grant towards replacements of their heating systems and any additional necessary funding in the form of a 0% interest deferred loan, which will only be payable on the sale of the property, a refinance, or transfer of the property title. The Mayor's Mural Crew celebrated their 25th anniversary this week. Every summer, young Boston artists work alongside professional mural painters to conceptualize, design, and paint large-scale murals throughout the city. My mission every summer is to make your first job ever the most fun and exciting and meaningful job that you might ever have. The Mayor's Mural Crew is a collaborative effort by the Mayor's Office of Arts, Tourism, and Special Events and the Boston Youth Fund, which assists these apprentices in improving their skills, gaining professional experience, and contributing to the overall vitality of the city. We're delivering something to these neighborhoods one wall at a time that makes them special and unique. So thank you for coming to see that. Over the years, hundreds of Boston's youth have been given the chance to be active participants in the creation of public art. Even Mayor Walsh got to leave his own little mark on the mural. Symphony Park unveiled its new public art installation, dubbed The Chair. City officials joined local residents and artists to cut the ribbon for the new attraction. This is an example of how we are going to make Boston better through the arts, enhancing this incredible park with this beautiful sculpture. The celebration also marks the park's one-year anniversary. Boston's Center for Youth and Families held their Super Teens End of Summer Celebration. Super Teens is a pre-employment program that bridges the dangerous gap for 13 and 14 year olds who are too old for traditional summer camps and programs but not old enough yet for summer jobs. Youth in the Super Teens program attend weekly leadership development workshops, gain work experience in BCYF community centers, and participate in field trips to Boston's arts and cultural institutions. To watch any event covered in its entirety, stay tuned to Boston City TV. And to watch all new episodes of The Boston Show, tune in at 11 a.m. on Saturday mornings. Thanks for joining us for this edition of The Boston Show.